Jerry Tarkanian was a legendary coach. What he did at UNLV will forever be etched on the front pages of Las Vegas history. But Jerry Tarkanian right now is up in basketball heaven, put another team together to win another championship. He was the face of the city for more than 20 years and brought joy to a community like no one else has before or since. The son of Armenian immigrants, Tarkanian was just a young man when he moved from the Midwest and landed at Fresno State, where he played basketball for two years. After graduating in arts, he coached two years of high school ball in Southern California before landing as head coach at Riverside City College, then Pasadena City College before becoming head coach at Long Beach State. In 1973, he was offered a job at UNLV, where his career and life would forever be changed. There's a compliment that, that I pay to coach, that I just hope that one day that my, my players say about me is, I always say that Coach Tarkanian got me to play as hard as I possibly could play. And I think that's one of the biggest compliments you can give any coach. I know that Coach Tark was a father, a mentor, a teacher, a coach. He was all that. And to lose him is like losing a family member. His trademark style captivated the basketball world. UNLV was turning heads with its running style offense, stingy defense, and huge runs, which led to blowout victories. He brought a style to this school that I think was never seen before, and he brought a philosophy of winning. Coach Talk said at one time, you know, we was loyal to him, and, and anything he asked us to do, we did it, and uh, it paid off. Coach is the ultimate um, coach, ultimate players coach. If you, went to, um, if you went to school and you played defense, you get anything you want. I, I think the biggest thing was, for me, is how he just ran out of air when he would talk to you. He just talked so long and so hard that he, and he wouldn't take a breath, and he just run out of air. Tark coined the term running rebels, and they couldn't be stopped. In 19 years at UNLV, he won a national championship, took the Rebels to four Final Fours, 12 NCAA tourney trips, including nine straight. I think what made Coach Tark so special is that um, he knew how to relate to the players. And what I really like about Coach Tark, even though I, I, I never got to play for him, I had talked to him when he was in Fresno State, um, but uh, he always, all, always his love for UNLV, and even when I, when I took up boxing for a few years, he was on my every fight, you know, I always, uh, I was glad to see him, and it just uh, he's a really big uh, pillar of this community. The, the guy is, a, is, is an incredible coach. I mean, it's, it's, it's no word to describe what, what type of coach he was. You know how he helped the kids that didn't know other coach and no other coaches in the um, nation would recruit kids. He would recruit kids that no other coaches would recruit. You know, he'd go into the inner city. You know, he'd go into the projects. Everything that would make him stand out from any other coach. He would not try to mold his ball players to a set offense, it changed with the talent, and that made him very successful. He was able to adapt, and I took on the philosophy, you don't, you know, there's two types of coaches, one that has a system that wants the system to make the players work, and his system was always, he has, he allows the players to make the system work. He knew how to lead his soldiers to battle, you know, he knew the, the right buttons to push, you know, when to give you a compliment, when to curse you out. You know, he knew exactly how to do it and when to do it. Funny, serious, funny, serious, but funny as hell. <laughs> you know? Tark was the second fastest coach to reach 700 career wins, over 500 of those coming at UNLV. His career winning percentage ranks 10th all time with 990 wins stretching over 38 seasons. There's no other coach that could have coached us. No other coach in the world could have coached us. And he was exciting. He played an exciting brand of basketball. And at the time that he got here, the city really needed that. And uh, so that was kind of a sort of a match that was perfectly made for the city. Just once at UNLV did he not win 20 or more games. He had four 30 win seasons. 37 wins in 1987 and 34 in 1991. The city fell in love with its rebels and so did the nation. UNLV was the talk of college basketball. In 1983, Tark was named National Coach of the Year. Well, the shark isn't taking a bite. He swallowed the whole tuna here tonight. His championship team in 1990 blew out Duke by 30 points. 
a record that still stands for a title game. But this night belongs to Las Vegas. It was a championship team filled with NBA talent, and it showed. But the national media labeled them as renegades. You can call us bad guys. You can call us. National um, champs. What was it? What did they call us the other day? Thugs. You can call us thugs. You can call us all them. But at the end, put that on there too. Uh, you know, we appreciate it just for us to put national champs on there. I've been telling people ever since they they were playing here, they're the greatest group of guys any coach could have ever had. I'm very fortunate for that. But he was a master motivator. Always got us motivated for every game. And a lot of kids, a lot of coaches can't do that. The 84-year-old coached 13 All-Americans, won 11 regular season conference championships, seven league tourney championships. From the 1970s into the 80s, the Run and Rebels set a standard for winning and winning big. Memories and stories of Tark are too numerous to count. The joy on the faces of the fans that pack the house sell out crowds. It's the towel. Rebel fans will never forget the towel. You know, I didn't know what, I didn't know it was watered down. I didn't know it was wet like that. So I'm like, Coach, you can't drink water from like everybody else. So, you know, it was his trademark. He did it. You know the story was actually an accident because he couldn't get, he couldn't get any waters. So, and, 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 and he had to, he, so he soaked the towel because he couldn't get, get a bottle of water. He didn't want to drink after anybody. So, um, you know, he fumbled his fingers a lot. He looked down. Oh, he, he was just, and he would always, you think he's listening, but he's not listening. He's not listening. He's thinking about what the next play is. His final years in Las Vegas were only shadows of the glory and bright lights he brought to a city built on dreams, luck, and hard work. He's had such an influence on so many guys' lives. I mean, for my pro career, my coaching career, and even just me growing up as, as a, a, a man. Tark's constant and long battle with the NCAA was settled when he won over $2 million. It's still the largest settlement case in the history of the organization. He said a lot of things about the NCAA that other coaches wouldn't say, wanted to say, but wouldn't say. So he was an inspiration to a lot of people. But public criticism, clashes with the NCAA, and power struggles between the school and Tark's program eventually led to his resignation. And on March 3rd, 1992, he coached his last game at UNLV. Very emotional, Reed. I'm an emotional guy anyways. I have a hard time talking like this. In 1998, Tark was inducted into the Southern Nevada Sports Hall of Fame. In 2005, UNLV naming the Thomas and Matt Court after the legendary coach. You know, he always had the clapping with the shark clapping and the yelling, the, the shark going around the stadium. And, and we need to do that again in his memory. Congratulations, Jerry Turkanian. His greatest honor in came in 2013 when the National Basketball Hall of Fame inducted Tark the Shark. I was real happy to have, to have the state finally arrive. And to, and to think years and years and years of waiting, and now it's here. Right. I just thank God that he is cognizant and coherent enough to really appreciate what this means. And it's a celebration for everybody you know, who played a small role in, in what Coach has been able to accomplish. So we're, we're here honored and in awe. You no, know, he was a trooper for his players. You know, uh, we played for him. We loved him. He loved us. He was super loyal, and I get what myself from him. Tark, uh, excellence. Tark was a phenomenal coach, a uh, good, good individual. I uh, just love watching him. He had some great teams at UNLV. He's a living legend. When you talk about college basketball, the coaches that come to mind, you know, you cannot miss him. He's one of those coaches. You know, I learned, I learned how never to turn your back on somebody. Uh, empathy, forgiveness, and uh, and that never give up, and and a lot of that comes from Coach Tark. Also in 2013, the One for Tark Legacy Project unveiled a bronze statue outside the facility where fans enjoyed some of their greatest memories. Three, two, one. When we started talking about doing a statue, I said what did it need to include, and I said, well, two things for sure needed to include the towel need to include the chair. The Thomas and Mac was even nicknamed the Shark Tank. There hasn't been a man since who helped rally a city like Jerry Tarkanian. There may never be. He came along at the right time, recruited the right players, and achieved something only dreams are built upon. And for many longtime Run and Rebel fans, the house that Tark built will always stand the test of time. Jerry Tarkanian put this city on the map.